A few weeks ago, I did my first butter aged steak experiment over a 15 day aging period. Not satisfied with the results, I went on to cover another piece of steak in butter, vowing this time that I'll do it longer. Well, it's been 60 days and it's time to see if this longer period will produce a more outrageous result. What do you think about the smell first? It's very funky. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Today what I'm going to be doing differently is I'm going to be cooking the steak with my girlfriend, Janessa. And I'd like to call on Janessa. <laughs> Thanks for joining, babe. Yes. <laughs> to join us today as Janessa helps me cook the steak and we're going to be cooking two steaks. One is the 60-day butter age steak and the other one that has just been sitting in the freezer for that time. So it's not aged. It's fresh steak. Practically fresh, yes, that's right. So join us today because I'm gonna get a helping hand in the kitchen. Today, we'll be working with two cuts of the same USDA choice ribeye steak. I've started off with seasoning the steak that has not been aged. We decided that we're keeping seasoning to only salt and pepper so that the flavors of the meat are in their truest forms. Now working with the 60-day butter aged steak, I crack open the hardened butter to finally peek through this piece of meat that's been in isolation for over that time period. I was a bit over eager in cutting through the butter and cut a bit of the steak. Anyway, you'll see here that the aged ribeye has taken on a mostly maroon-like color. Comparing it to my previous 15-day experiment wherein the steak was still mostly red, this has taken more oxidation and I'm excited to see what it tastes like. As promised, just salt and pepper before we place this into the oven for a reverse sear process. We're placing this one inside the oven at 125 degrees for 8 minutes. After a short broil, we're placing these steaks into the pan. In our effort to keep the flavors in its purest forms, we're even doing away with butter and garlic which I'll typically throw in at some point. Listen to those steak sizzle. As last time, we just need to cook the steak one minute each side for a medium rare to medium finish. I don't have a thermometer, so a simple finger test should do the trick. Yep, I cooked this with him. <laughs> <laughs> so this won't be a blind test. This one's butter aged, and this is the regular one. So let's maybe let's try the regular one first. You don't like it? No. <laughs> and the tough. Yeah, a little tough. Okay, it was quite a big rib eye, and what I did was I halved it about 500 to 600 grams. It's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Not good. Like the normal <laughs> so regular steaks. We're now going into the 60 day butter aged steak. So, like Janessa, she likes them aged. <laughs> what do you think about the smell first? It's very funky, very pungent. So, I'm quite scared because um, when you when we cook this, <laughs> it really smelled. She thought I was letting off gas in the middle of cooking. So, yeah, guys, I'm a little scared. <laughs> Because it did did not give the best smell. Quite a beefy smell though, but but just not the freshest of smells, which is I think it's fair. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I don't like it. Oh my god. <laughs> no but go, you can try it. Mm. 
almost tastes like blue cheese. So do you like it? Not necessarily. Yeah. But that's what it tastes like. Where dry aged steak is supposed to taste mm. a little funky, a little blue cheesy. And, and almost citrusy. Almost citrusy, yes. So <laughs> cheesy, pungent, blue cheesy and then citrusy. And I think there's a bit of a little pork flavor. Mm, yeah. Like a like a bacon type of flavor. Especially when it go through the fat. It's more like bacon now. Okay, so to the fat. I mean, you get used to it. <laughs> it's just different. Yeah, I think I'm getting used to it. <laughs> it's different. When you said na parang, it tastes like porky. There's a bit porky. Now na I I tasted it again. Mm -hmm. Tastes like sausage. Yep. That's a good way to put it. Right. Oh yeah, very porky. The sourness that, that you get when you bite into a sausage, like a, a regular hot dog. Mm, yes. So, it's interesting. I think you guys should try it. <laughs> of course, we're not the experts with butter aging. So could you guys tell us if we're supposed to be tasting chorizo, sausage. bacon, sausage, sausage. Actually, here? Actually, you get over the initial smell, like I said. Yeah. It's actually okay, right? Mm. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not what you'd expect of yeah. steak, of course. So what do you think? Should you go through the trouble of butter aging? Well, since we're in quarantine <laughs> and we have nothing to do, I mean, it's a good experiment. Going through the trouble of like waiting yeah. for this for like 50 days only to not like get the steak flavor that you want. Mm -hmm. It's, not, it's I, a I no for you? Yeah, it's a no for me. <laughs> Yeah. So How does this compare to what we've eaten that are dry aged dry steaks? Aged. We've had two that it's I can very recall. Very different. I like dry aged steaks better. But those are dry the dry aged steaks we ate are actually I think 28 day aged dry aged steaks. That makes sense. This one's a solid 60 day run. What about you? What's your birthday? I think I'm gonna keep going because I just try anything really. <laughs> If I don't end up in the bathroom later rolling around, I'm gonna try it some more. So, rate it out of 10. Honest review. <laughs> My first bite was about a 6. Eight but nine. really, it's like a 7.8. <laughs> Just a one, one point increment. 1.8. One point one it's point almost eight. an 80. <laughs> mm. I like it. It's going to an 8 right now. Wow. It's building up. <laughs> Maybe you can see drank wine. <laughs> yep, that always helps, guys. And what are you rating this? Oh, six. Oh, six. Six also. That's not bad. But it won't go up now like yours. No, no. But it's going up. By the bite. Yeah, I mean, if I'm, if I'm giving this an eight and this is a 7.3, then I like this better. Mm -hmm. Wow, you like this better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, is it worth a while to butter age your steak? I think we've given two different opinions here. We've liked it a bit. We didn't like it to some extent. Um, but it's really up to you. It's up to you if you want to experiment. You want to see different things in the world of COVID. These are the things <laughs> that you can see differently right now. <laughs> yes. Go try it. It's very interesting. And I think it's worthwhile to experiment in the kitchen yeah if you want your food to be dependable and as expected as you want it then maybe it's not for you but if you're taking on an adventure you want to try different things then maybe it is up for you thank you to the steak god guga for introducing me to this um i'm gonna keep trying as with everything i'm gonna keep trying all right let's do it